is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Elohim, you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I don't know, you are worthy, worthy, worthy. Hallelujah. Emmanuel, you are worthy, worthy, worthy. Hallelujah. Oh, everybody, praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Emmanuel, you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I show that you are worthy to be praised. Rock of ages, you are worthy to be praised. Omini Pone, you are worthy to be praised. Omini Sias, you are worthy, worthy, worthy. We are saying, Amen. Everybody sing, Hallelujah. For His faithfulness. For his compassion. Hallelujah. For who he is. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, praise hallelujah. Hallelujah. Children of God, praise hallelujah. Hallelujah. Children of God, praise hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. He's who wanted to be praised. Hallelujah. He's wanted to be praised. Hallelujah. He's wanted to be praised. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we sat. What a mighty God we sat. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. The angels bow before they bow. Him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Jesus is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Jesus is a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Hello, you say mighty God. He's a mighty God. I don't know you are mighty God. He's a mighty God. How should I mighty God? He's a mighty God. Every power bow before him. He's a mighty God. Situations bow before him. He's a mighty God. Prosperities bow before him. He's a mighty God. Poverty bows before him. He's a mighty God. Confusion bows before him. He's a mighty God. Every power bow before you. He is a mighty God. Every power bow before you. He is a mighty God. Every power bow before you. He God. Let marriage bows before you. He is a mighty God. Barrenness bows before you. He is a mighty God. Every power bows before you. He is a mighty God. Oh, he's a mighty God. He is a mighty God. Oh, he's a mighty God. Oh, he's a mighty God. Oh, he's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Oh, he's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Oh, he's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. We enter his care with thanksgiving in my heart. We enter his cause with praise. We praise. We say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will I will, rejoice for he has made I will enter, I will enter, enter his guest with thanksgiving my I will enter, enter his cross with praise. praise. I will say this is a day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh he has made me glad. He has made me glad. Oh yes. He has made me glad. I, uh, I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Hallelujah. He has made me glad. And, uh, he has made me glad. I will. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter. I will enter his grace with thanksgiving in my heart. I, I will, will enter, enter his call with praise. praise. I, I will say. the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Oh, we rejoice for he has made me glad. Hallelujah. He has made me glad. At least for being alive in the land of the living, it's something we look and say hallelujah. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He 
has made me glad. Amen. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Hallelujah. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Everybody blow your trumpet. Ba, la, 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 la. I will blow my trumpet. Ba, la, 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 la. Children of God blow your trumpet. Ba, la, 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 la. For what he has done. Ba, la, 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 la. For what he will do. Ba, la, 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 la. Everybody blow your trumpet. Ba, la, 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 la. Children of God blow your trumpet. Ba, Everybody blow your trumpet. Children of God, clap your hands for him. Everybody clap your hands to the Lord. Children of God, clap your hands for him. Everybody blow your trumpet. Come on, everybody blow your trumpet. Pam, pam, Pam pam pa ra ra ra. Everybody blow your trumpet. Everybody blow your trumpet. Children of God blow your trumpet. Everybody blow your trumpet. Start to rejoice in the Lord, glorify Him, glorify Him in West, glorify Him, honor Him for His faithfulness upon your life, bless Him for who He is, calling names, calling names, calling names. For me, I declare that He's on sovereign God, He's God, the beginning and the ending, He's Alpha and Omega, He's the ageless God. He's the almighty God, the all in all, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega, thou who was, is, and is to come, reliable, dependable, trustworthy God. He is our healer. He is the author and the finisher of our faith, the resurrection and life, the bread of life, the perfect master that has not. Hey, keremo bosunto rimasanda. Rikanaraba mashendereke, Rikanaraba makuria laba mashonduri masana. Somebody blessing for the lives of their children, blessing for the lives of their siblings, blessing for what he has started already doing in your life, blessing for his faithfulness and love. He bestowed upon you. You are the master of the whole world. You now move in the wings of the air. I exalt you for whom you are. How excellent is your name in all the earth. We glorify you, almighty one of Israel. You are the remover of our shame. You are the role of, of our reproach. You are the destroyer of our disgrace. You are the fighter of our battles. Oh, Rima Shekemerebu. Manderebu Mosonaraba. There is none like you. No one can touch my life like a fruit. I could search for what eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. There is none, there is none, there is none, there, there is, is none, none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I could search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. For you alone is worthy. For you alone is worthy. For you alone is worthy. 
For you, for you, uh, is holy, is holy. For you, our uh, Lord, is holy. It's only for you alone, is holy. Go ahead, let's go ahead and worship him who is only holy. Go ahead, let's worship him. The only one who is worthy. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. You alone is God. You alone is holy. You alone is worthy. You alone is immeasurable. You alone is indispensable, untieable God. You alone is God. You got no comparisons. From now till eternity, you remain in the same. You alone, you alone are worthy. Remain shakerable. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we say it with thousands fear or favor, we say it without, with all audacity that you alone is worthy. Your worthiness can never be compared. We count it all privilege to have relationship with you. We want to thank you for thus far you have led us on this journey, bringing us to the ninth day. It has been by your grace. Your strength has done it. And we have come to say thank you. Lord, we had no confidence in the flesh because the flesh could not have brought us this far. Receive all the glory. Tonight, as we come to the end of the ninth day, Lord, let there be a confirmation that you are at work in our lives. Let there be a confirmation that you are the one that has the final say. Jesus, then we pray. Let's clap for Jesus and be seated. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 37. Who is he that say it? And it cometh to pass when Jehovah has not commanded it, when the Lord commanded it not. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Isaiah chapter 14. 23 verse 21 These people have I formed for myself they shall show forth my glory This evening I want to give a chat before we we start praying and I, I have titled it The God who has the final say the God who has the final say. The God who has the final say. Brothers and sisters, Jehovah said, he formed you, he formed me for his praise. In your life, he is the only one who has the final authority. The sovereignty and the authority of God over the works of his hands are incontestable. The sovereignty and the authority of God over your life, over my life, is unarguable, incontestable, or rather incontestably unarguable. Two of them can be packed together. <laughs> when I say the God that has the final say, four things I will say before we start praying. Number one, 
It does not matter who has spoken first in your life. God will speak last and final. It does not matter who has spoken first in your life, in your family, in your destiny. God will speak last and final. In the book of Exodus, when God sent Moses to go and deliver his people, Pharaoh was running his mouth like basket. Who is that your God that will make me let the Israelites go? Who is that? God kept quiet. Allowed him to run his mouth to dryness. And at the end of the day, Jehovah spoke and that was it. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, Elkanah was a polygamist who married two women, Penina and Hannah. Penina started producing children like water. Hannah did not produce anything. And Penina began to, you know women can abuse. Began to make mockery of her and her God. Because the woman had none. But at the end of the day, the God of Hannah spoke. And that was the last time the name of Penina was mentioned in the Bible. It does not matter who is threatening your life now. God is watching. It does not matter who is making mockery of your Christianity. Jehovah is taking notes. He doesn't waste his words. He speaks last and that will be final. It does not matter the witch that is threatening your life. It does not matter the sickness that appears to be incurable and you are prayed on manner of prayer. And it appears as if God cannot heal you. God will speak last and final. That sickness may have been speaking in so many ways, of course, symptoms. That is the speakings of sickness. All manner of strange symptoms. God keeps quiet. But one day he will speak. And that will be the end. <laughs> so, Permit me to conclude by saying that many people may have been speaking against you. Your God is not dead. He will only speak last and that will be final. He will only speak last and that will be final. Every negativity that has been speaking in your life, your God will speak last and that will be final. Every negative symptoms in your body, every infirmity speaking in your life, every witch threatening your life, your father will speak and that will be fine. Number two, it does not matter who has moved first, God will move last and final. It does not matter who has moved. First, God will move last, and that will be final. Nebuchadnezzar, the wicked and powerful king of Babylon, moved against the Hebrew boys first, arrested them, dumped them into the fearing furnace, and their God moved last, and that was final. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den for praying, you no, know, not for committing sin, for praying to God. God was observing when they arrested him. God was seeing when they threw him into the lion's den. God was observing. They moved first. The conspirators moved first. God moved last, and that was final. God was watching when the siblings of Joseph sold him. 
God kept quiet. God was watching when Potiphar, Mrs. Potiphar told lies against Joseph. God was watching. God was watching so that the devil can do his worst. God was watching when they put him into prison. He kept quiet. You know the implication? Devil, do your worst. Me, I don't have time to waste. Do your worst. And by the time the devil finished with his worst, God moved and that was final. From prison, he entered into palace. Herod was moving against the church. Arrested James. Slaughtered him like chicken in the prison. God was watching. And the Bible says in Acts chapter 12, when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further. I don't know the witch that have been proceeding in their wickedness against your life. It appears as if your God is dead. He proceeded further, arrested Peter. God was watching. The night before Peter will be slaughtered, Jehovah roared, moved, and that was final. Not only was Peter released, Herod was eaten up by worms. Anybody representing a Herod over your life, they will die like chicken. So, it does not matter who is moving against you now. They are conspiring against you at your workplace. They have a, a large, all manner of things against you. Your God is watching and observing. He is only patient for them to finish all the wickedness they know. So that when he moves, and that will be the finality of their existence. Number three. Don't be stressed because of what the enemy has done. Don't be stressed because of what the enemy has done. God has not done his own yet. Be patient. Don't be stressed. Don't allow the devil to stress you out. To stress you out. Why? Why? God has not done his own. It is just the enemy doing their best and their worst. The Bible says, Psalm 46 verse 10, Be still and know that I am God. I am not sleeping. <laughs> I, am, I am observing. In Mark chapter 4, I think from verse 30, 30 or 32, Jesus was in a boat with his disciples. And he was sleeping. Why? Nothing can stress the master. The disciples were jittery and panicky. But Jesus was dreaming and sleeping. Or sleeping and dreaming. And they went and woke him up. Care, master, care not thou that we perish. He was too relaxed in the midst of storm. Brothers and sisters, it does not matter how stormy your atmosphere is. Relax and chillax. Jehovah is still on the throne. Are you hearing me? Jehovah, it does not matter the storm buffeting your life. Academically, financially, Maritally, no devil can overthrow God because no devil elected him. So he, is on, on, he cannot be thrown, overthrown, sorry. So in the, in the process, don't be stressed. Philippians chapter 4 verse 16. The Bible says, do not be anxious for anything, but by prayer and supplication. Let your request be made known unto God. The implication is, instead of stressing yourself out, pray. 
And that's why you are here, so that we pray. The reason why we are fasting is that we refuse to be worried. We would rather pray than to be worried. Number four. One step of God can wipe out a thousand steps of the enemy. One step of God can wipe away a thousand steps of the enemy. One step of God. One step of God. One step. I want you to imagine the length of the step of God and how heavy. The Bible says, heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. That means the earth is big enough to accommodate his legs. That means the entire planet earth is what it takes to, to carry his two legs. And the Bible says, the earth is his footstool. So it does not matter how many steps. <laughs> Myself and my wife, we used to we have we used to have a friend. When it's moving, one step is like ten of your normal steps. And that is his normal movement. He's not pretending. <laughs> so it does not matter how many steps. The enemy has moved in your life. One step of God can cancel a thousand steps of the enemy. It does not matter the inroads that the devil has made in your destiny. Just one move of God can override and cancel all the steps of the enemy. Can I hear a better amen? amen. What does it take to experience the finality of the God of final say. What does it take to experience the finality of the God who has the final say? Number one, unbroken quality relationship with God. Unbroken quality relationship with God. I choose these two words, unbroken and quality. And I'm going to tell you the reason why I choose them. Some people's relationship with God is hot and cold. Up and down. Today they're on fire. Tomorrow they're on water. Today their Christianity is fiery. Next, after one month, their Christianity has gone down the drain. So, it is, it is a broken relationship, up and down, hot and, hot and cold. Unbroken in the sense that you have made up your mind. And no devil can cause you to change your mind about your relationship with God. We used to sing a song. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me. No turning back, no turning back. My brothers and my sisters, make up your mind to face God and face him alone. You see, the benefit of facing God is those who face God will have God face out their enemies. Are you hearing me? If you only you can face God, F-A-C-E, face him alone, God will face out, P-H-A-X-E, 
Face out your issues. Face out your storms. Face out the witches around you. Only if you can face him. Unbroken relationship. Talk about quality. There's a whole difference between quantity and quality. Many are called, but few. The Bible also says, the first shall be the last, and the last. There are people who have been born again for 10 years. And there are people who have been born again for only six months. If you bring two of them together, you discover that the chances are that the person who has been in salvation for six months may be more dedicated and consecrated to God than the Mosaic who has been saved for 10 years. So I have discovered that with God, it is not about quantity. It is not about how long. It is how well. So number one, we have to experience the finality of the God who has the final say is unbroken quality relationship with God. Purpose not to go back to your vomit. The Bible talks about the dog that goes back to their vomit. I've always wondered what is it that people have left in the world that is drawing their attention there. And Jesus gave us a warning. He said, remember Lord's wife. Remember Lord's wife. Why did he bring that? So that the experience of Lord's wife will not be your experience. She was running for her life, yet her jewelry in Sodom was drawing her attention. Meanwhile, God gave them a warning. Run, don't look back. Brothers, what is making you to look back? That thing has the capacity to waste you. It's like a man driving and he's perpetually watching the rear mirror instead of facing where he's driving. Such a person is doomed for a crash. You will never crash in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number two, what it takes to experience the finality of the God of the final say. Unshakable Confidence in the faithfulness of God. Unshakable. Unmovable. Confidence in the faithfulness of God. Luke chapter 22, 31 to 32. Unshakable. Unmovable. Confidence in the faithfulness of God. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat, but I prayed for you, so that your faith fell not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Simon, Satan has desired to shift you as a wheat, but I prayed for you. So that your faith will not fail. Brothers and sisters, faith failure equals to destiny failure. Anybody whose faith has failed is a man or woman whose destiny is about to fail. Unmovable faith, confidence. Always know that anything God has said, God is faithful to prove himself. Because Jehovah is too faithful to fail you. He said, have I said it? Will I not do it? You are too small for God to lie because of you. The Bible says that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie. By two what are those two immutable things? The word of God is final. And God is too faithful to deceive. Too faithful to deceive. If not for anything. The Bible says heaven and earth shall pass away. But not a dot of his word. Anything he has promised he will do. So you must have unshakable. Unmovable. Irresistible. 
and unpushable confidence in the faithfulness of God. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16. Ephesians, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. I'm going to explain this to you. When you are going through situations, the devil will be firing, you, firing at you arrows of doubt. Arrows of doubt. That's when people will begin to give you option B. And that's when they'll begin to recommend to you those people that usually function at Boise. They say, there's a man at Boise. He's not a wee doctor. But if only you can consult him. <laughs> they'll begin to give you option B. And if you begin to doubt, they'll say, even me, I go to living world. I'm not an unbeliever. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. And they'll begin to preach to you. It is God that gave them the power they are using. Let's go. Brothers and sisters, situations are permitted to move, but don't let them move you. Situations of life are permitted to move, but don't let them move you. Anything that will succeed in taking away your confidence from God has the power to waste I have confidence in you. Hey. Oh, Lord. I have confidence in you. Ancient of days. I have confidence in you. Oh, Lord. I have confidence in you. Oh, Lord. I have confidence in you. Ancient of days, I have confidence in you. Oh Lord, I have no other God beside you. You are the old coverages. Ancient of days, I have confidence in you. Oh Lord. You know, the Bible says, sing praises with understanding. It is the understanding behind your praise that makes you outstanding in the journey of life. That song alone is enough to do something in your heart. I have no other God. And I'm not planning to have any. Not only is it that I am not even, it's not an option to be considered. It's not, it's not an option to be considered. And don't let anything lure you away from him. Don't let anything. Don't let anything. Don't let anything. A man came to my office and was telling me about a lady who is a church member here who went and married a Catholic. It's not too long they were there, though. But regret has started coming in. <laughs> now, she was telling the gentleman, even me, I don't like going to church. If only he will allow me to go back to living world. They are not even married up to one year. But regret has started. Anything that can lure, even if you call it marriage, it does not matter your desperation for marriage. It is better you remain single, but that will not be your portion, and still have God. Are you hearing me? It is better to be single and have God than to be married and lose God. Are you hearing me? It is better to be, you will not be single, you get married. I'm just saying things, but it is better to be single and still have God than to marry and lose God. Better to be single and have God than to be married and lose God. Desperation has made many people to deny their God. Desperation has made many people to lose confidence in the faithfulness of God. May you never be desperate. See, desperation has got the positive side and the negative side. 
I am talking about the negative desperation. Even if the man, if, even if he's the owner of Uganda, and he does not believe in the God you believe, such a man is not a marriable man. Not all men are marriable. Are you hearing me? Anybody that does not believe in the God you believe will lure you away from that your God. Marriage to an Egyptian will eventually seduce him to serving the God of the Egyptians. Because we just settled one case some time ago and the man was now asking the lady, it means in your church, your pastor is teaching you not to submit to your husband. The husband goes to Catholic. She had to bow. <sighs> because the Bible says, wife, submit to your husband. But before that, there was a warning. You are permitted to marry, but only in the Lord. So if you break that first scripture, second one will swallow you. If the man decides to go to consult witches, you will follow him. Because the Bible says, Submit. Number three, what it takes to experience, and I'll stop here so that we can pray. The finality of the God of the final say. Number three. Always know that your God is too dependable to deceive you. Always know. Always know. Always know. Always know that your God is too dependable to deceive. Always know. Always know. Number four, and I close. Let the word of God become your final habitat. Let the word of God. So that means in every situation, you ask yourself, what is the word saying? What is the word of God saying concerning this my situation? What is the word of God saying concerning this my situation? Can we stand up now? Let's begin to thank God for his faithfulness. Thank him because he's the one who has the final say. Go ahead, thank him. Give him praise and glory because he's too reliable to lie, too reliable to repent of what he has said concerning you. Go ahead, let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. In Jesus' name we pray. Unquestionable you are the Lord. Unquestionable you are the Lord. Hey! Unquestionable you are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Unquestionable. Unquestionable you are the Lord. Questionable. Questionable, you are not Questionable, you are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. Questionable, you are not alone. Questionable, you are not alone. Questionable, you are not alone. You are not alone. 
You are the Lord unquestionable. You are the Lord questionable. You are the Lord questionable. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Say, my Father, use my situation to prove that you are my Lord. Open up your mouth, begin to pray. Use my situation to prove that you are my Lord. Use my situation to prove that you are my Lord. Go ahead, pray. My life and my situation to prove that you are my Lord. pray. Say every demonic force behind captivity and sickness in my life today your grip is broken. Your grip is broken. Die! Open up your mouth begin to pray. Every demonic force behind every captivity and infirmity in my life Today, your grip is broken. Your grip is broken. Jesus name we pray. Job chapter 5 verse 12. The Bible says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands could not perform their interpret. Say my father let every moves of the enemy in my life be disappointed. Now nah! open up your mouth. Every move of the enemy in my life be disappointed. Be disappointed. Be disappointed. Every move of the enemy in my destiny, in my life, in my house, in my marriage, be disappointed. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Say, My Father, arise and frustrate and destroy all the works of the enemy in my life. My Father, arise and disappoint and destroy all the works of the enemy in my life. Open up your mouth, begin to pray. My father arise and disappoint.
arise and destroy and disappoint all the works of the enemy in my life. Go ahead. Hey. Hey. Oh, riba, 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 rika, koko, riba, hinda. Rika, kipa, rika, koko, riba, hinda, ri. Oh, riba, 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 rika, koko, riba, hinda, rika, koko, riba. Oh, riba, 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 riba. Rika, kipa, rika, koko, riba. Yes, yes, yes. Disappoint and destroy. Disappoint and destroy. Hey! Disappoint and destroy. Disappoint and destroy. In Jesus' name we pray. Open up your hands, I pray for you. The Bible says the enemy has done this. Anything that the enemy has done in your life, in your destiny, in your family, by the power in the name of Jesus, they are dissipated and destroyed. Anything that is traceable, that are traceable to the enemy in your life, in your body, in your destiny, in your career, in your business, they are dissipated and destroyed. They are dissipated and destroyed. Jesus, name we pray. Say, my father. Arise and silence the speakings of the enemy in my life by the blood of Jesus. Open up your mouth, pray. My father, arise and silence. Hey, hey, hey. of the tribe of Judah roar in the garden of my life and chase away strangers say oh lion of the tribe of Judah roar in the garden of my life and chase away strangers open up your mouth begin to pray let the lion roar let the lion roar in the garden of my life and chase away strangers. Hey, 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 hey. Let the lion roar. Let the lion roar and chase away strangers from the garden of my destiny. Jesus, then we pray. Say every intimidation of the enemy over my life. My father, arise and intimidate them. Every intimidation of the enemy in my life. My father, arise and intimidate them. Open up them, I pray. Every intimidation.
in Jesus name we pray open up your hands and you are going to pray this one finally say my father give me double for my troubles open up your mouth begin to pray give me double for my troubles give me double for my troubles In Jesus' name we pray. Open your hands, I pray for you. I prophesy restoration. Resurrection. Reconciliation. And recovery. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I demand for the restoration of your fruitfulness. I demand for the recovery of your losses. I demand for the re reconciliation in your relationships. Whatever the enemy has taken from you, whatever the enemy has held back from you over the years, there shall be restoration! Whatever the enemy has been seated upon that belongs to you, Whatever the enemy has diverted that ought to be in your hand. Let there be massive restoration. Let there be massive restoration. Let there be massive restoration. You shall be restored. Anything dead in your body, anything dead around you, they are resurrected. They are resurrected. They are resurrected. Every storm in your life, storm around your life, storm in your marriage, storms in your finances, storms in your career and businesses, I speak, peace be still now! Peace be still now! Peace be still now! Peace be still now! Concerning Uganda, there shall be restoration. There shall be resurrection. There shall be reconciliation. And there shall be recovery. In the name of Jesus, concerning the Living Word Assembly and her members, there shall be restoration. There shall be resurrection. There shall be reconciliation. And there shall be recovery. Concerning the prayer city project, I prophesy restoration. I prophesy resurrection. I prophesy, I prophesy recovery. By the power in the name of Jesus. For the pain the enemy has caused you over the years. Such pains are converted to your gains. Every pain the enemy has caused you over the years, they are converted to your gains. For every insult you have endured over the years, those insults give way to your result. For your troubles, you are receiving double. For your troubles, you are receiving double. Jesus' name we have prayed. Please clap for Jesus. And be seated. Let's package our offerings. Need an envelope? Let the ushers know by raising hands.
Father, we have not come with empty hands. Like begets like. Because we have not come with empty hands, we refuse to go empty handedly. I ask that everyone's harvest be multiplied, everyone's heaven be widely open, and let Jesus be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. The children's deliverance started on a very fantastic note this day, the morning session and evening session for those between the ages of 13 to 18. And it will proceed tomorrow. The same age bracket, 13 to 18. Those who, ca who are for morning session, it begins in the morning, 7 to 10. And those who are for afternoon session, it begins from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Please, if you have a teenager who lives with you, who may not necessarily be your child, maybe a relative, a sibling, a nephew or a niece, allow the person to partake in what God is doing in the life of these children. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can we stand up now? As you are standing up, I want you to mention a stubborn case in your life that, ap that appears as if the enemy is on the throne. You mention that case, and you are going to tell Jehovah to arise and permanently delete the memory of that thing from your life. When I say permanent deletion, I mean it, it will appear as if you never had such experience. Open up your mouth, begin to pray. begin to conclude in Jesus name we pray may the God who answered by fire answer you by fire may God 
answer you in your hours of trouble. May God, who is your father and my father, arise when you least expected. Let that situation that appears to be on the throne of your life be permanently dethroned. And let Jehovah be enthroned in his place. May the Lord bless and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. Lift up his countenance upon you. May Jehovah smile on you. May heaven open for you. May angels intervene on your behalf. It is well with you. It is well with your family. It is well with your destiny. It is well with Uganda. It is well with the Living Word Assembly. And it is well with the prayer city. Jesus' name we pray. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Surely. Two thousand and nineteen. Divine help. Go and encounter divine help. 